Hello and welcome to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Grand Arena Championships, Season 21, Week 4, Round 1. My name is Boma Fett. I'm currently undefeated this season, but I don't know if that's going to last. Let's take a look at who my opponent is this round. Mr. Yum. Before we go to the hot bot, let me show you the rest of the pot here. Boney69 Kenobi, very mature, has SLKR. Doriak, SLKR. Thoronar, has Ray. Demok, no GL. No GL for you, Piker. Mr. Yum, my opponent, SLKR. Rex, Jedi Master Luke. So that's three SLKRs, a Ray, and a JML in my group. A few weeks ago, I'd be bothered by this, but I think I still have a chance. But now that they've made all of the changes that they've made, I don't see how I come out of this with more than one win if I'm lucky. Let's go to the hotbot for a quick comparison with Mr. Young. So here on the hotbot, my side is almost entirely lit up in green. There are a few specks of red over on Mr. Yum's side. So let's zoom in and take a closer look. This top section reveals that Mr. Yum is a very good GAC player. We've got almost 700,000 lifetime banners. That's very solid. 136 clears is good considering the lifetime banners. 513 defends and 1502 offensive wins. Very, very solid numbers. This is about a 33% ratio, about one third defends to offensive wins. That's right in the window where you'd like to see it. And that tells me that Mr. Yum plays a very balanced game, setting a good defense, but also keeping enough for offense. In the roster summary, you can see that my galactic power is a little bit more than 200,000 more than Mr. Yum. I have a higher top 80 and top 65 GP. I've got more than 30 more Zetas, and I'm actually sitting on eight Zetas. I'm waiting to get characters geared up so that I can give them those Zetas. I've got more speed at the top of my roster, both in the top 80 and gear 11s and above. I've got six more gear 13s and 12 more gear 12, and more than 40 more gear 11 and above. So I have a much, much deeper roster. I have almost 70 more 6 dot mods, and I have a lot more mods with high speed secondaries. Even though I have six more gear 13 characters, Mr. Yum has 40 more total relic levels. Now based on those sections up above, this should be a mismatch in my favor, but think again, Mr. Yum has SLKR. Now, even with the nerfs that have come down, I am still able to beat SLKR in 5v5, but in 3v3, I don't know that I'm going to be able to beat him. So this is extremely frustrating for me. The fact that they made those changes, they say, well, we don't want lesser investment to beat greater investment. But you know what? I've got just as much investment in my roster. I've been playing for longer. My roster is superior, so I'm going to set my defense to try and stop him from clearing half of my board. He'll probably put SLKR on defense to stop me from clearing half of his board, and that's just the way it'll be. I'm not going to full clear this round if SLKR is on defense. Now beyond the SLKR, he does have Jedi Knight Luke, but only at gear 10. In the key characters, there's nothing here that really jumps out at me as being too unusual. Gear 9 on GBA is a little bit low, and we only have a 6-star Malevolence, but neither one of those is a really big deal. Let's go back to the game and take a closer look at Mr. Yum's roster. So here's the SLKR in the arena and Negotiator in the fleet arena. Here are all the relic characters, and it's dominated by the characters needed to get SLKR, but we do have light side characters because he does have Jedi Knight Luke. We also have a Darth Revan squad. 
We've got some Separatist droids. We've got General Skywalker. We've got some Galactic Republic here. We've got some Jedi. But we've got a lot of characters that are down here at Gear 12 and below that I normally see routing. Separatist droids, Bastila Shaw, Bosk, Thrawn, Rex, Jedi Training Ray, R2, Gear 11, Gear 10, we've got Emphis Nest, On Solo, Jedi Knight Luke, Mon Mothma, 3PO and Chewie, Bot Tambor, Gear 9, we've got our Geonosians, Moth Gideon. We've got two and a half hours left in the setup phase. Let me show you what I did on defense. If he puts SLKR up front here, I'm not going to be able to clear half of the board. So I wanted to see if I could keep him from clearing half of the board. And so in the bottom zone here, I've got Savage Malik, Jedi Knight Luke, and Darth Revan. Now, Jedi Knight Luke, since the nerf, is not doing as well on defense, I've noticed that already, and splitting up my Darth Revan squad makes both of these squads easier to beat, but neither one is easy to beat. They both take strong squads to beat them. If he gets through there, then hiding in the back, we have the Bomb Squad, Hux First Order, Knight Sister Cheese, General Grievous, and Fin Fin Po. And in the top zone, we've got Poggle with Separatists, Bosk, Bam, and Newt. So knowing that he does not have a ton of depth on his roster, my hope is that even if he gets through this bottom front zone and gets to the back, that maybe he won't be able to clear the back and the top, and I'll still be able to keep him to just half of the board. So we'll come back in two and a half hours and we'll see what kind of defense Mr. Yum sets for me. All right, the attack phase has started. Let's take a look at the defense that Mr. Yum set. There is SLKR. Oh no. Oh. This is an auto deploy defense. This is the fifth auto deploy that I faced in 10 matches this season. I can't begin to tell you guys how frustrated I am right now. Now the thing is, I checked Mr. Yum's GAC history. There were no auto sets. So I think he just didn't have time or forgot to set defense. And that's gonna happen every now and then, but it's just really, really frustrating to have to face auto set after auto set after auto set. And because I didn't know it was coming, I set a really tough defense I'm not going to have enough to clear this board, I don't think. I mean, I probably wouldn't be able to clear SLKR anyhow because of the nerfs, but I don't know how many squads I'm going to be able to get down. Very, very frustrating. All right, I'm going to do some planning and I will come back later and make my attacks. All right, so I put so much on defense that I'm going to be lucky to clear more than one zone. So we're going to try and go across the bottom, see if we can clear half the board, and then we'll go back up to the top and see if we can clear any of those squads. I'm not even going to try SLKR. So against this Grievous squad, it has Hux in it, which means I can't use a turn meter generating squad. I need something where turn meter doesn't matter, so that's Padme. Against the Wampa squad, that's a really hard hitting squad. I need something with a lot of survivability, so that's Padme. So I needed to make a choice, where am I going to use Padme? I'm going to go with Grievous, I hope I don't regret it. So we'll 
we'll start off with protection up and we'll get rid of the foresight on those two. I'm going to hold off on doing the, uh, the middle move by Padme. I'm going to see if I can stun Bastila. Okay, good. Uh, let's go ahead and just get rid of her. Now we'll do this. See if Bastila had gotten off her, uh, her fear, then I would have flipped that with Patty. That's why I was holding off on that. Fifty-two. Against the Wampa Squad, I don't want to take Rebels because he destroys Rebels. So I'm going to go with EP, Raider, and Thrawn. And I hope that Vader can handle this after his nerf. Start with a Force Crush and Merciless. Uh, we're going to throw this at Wampa, but I don't expect it to do a whole lot. 75k, that's not terrible, but you can see it just got through his protection. Force Crush again. And we'll throw this at Red. Let's hand this off to Palpatine. See if we can get some stuns. Let's go ahead and fracture Wampa. Wampa's down. Red is down. 53. Against the Hermit Yoda squad, I don't want to take any Jedi because of HK. So we're going to go CLS, 3PO, and Chupio. Going after HK first. Yoda put the Master's training on Padme, which is fine. AoE. And 54. Lando with fives and first order executioner. Jedi Knight Anakin with Cholo and Rolo. First order stormtrooper with Droidica and Ahsoka. Grandmaster Yoda with Shock T and Asajj Ventress. Vet Han with Phasma and GK. So I'm going to go for this Droidica squad first. And I'm going to take in my Basti with Ezra and Keenan. Two dispels here, one from Basti and one from Ezra, so that I can get rid of the taunt from the Stormtrooper and the damage immunity from Droidica. So we're going to go after Droidica first, and we'll give the buffs to Ezra. Alright, let's dispel that. Keep the taunt up on Kanan. Dispel the taunt. And we'll go back after Droidica. Keep protection up. There 
we go, Droidic is gone. Take out Ahsoka. Go ahead and do a big hit here. Get the buffs to Ezra. Ahsoka. More protection up. So we've lost a banner on Kanan, but that's okay. He's tanking it like a champ. That's what he's there for. Let's see if we can stun. I have no idea what to do against the rest of these squads. It's going to take me a couple of minutes to figure it out, and then I'll come back and attack some more. Alright, so against this Lando squad, I am going to try my Night Sisters. This doesn't seem like a great counter to me, but I'm trying to save squads for that top zone. I'm not going to be as okay. There's no chance of that after the nerfs and they changed his AI. So gas, chewy, and fives is not going to work. And I put my Jedi Knight Luke on defense. But I'm hoping to clear the other three squads in the top zone. So I'm gonna try and cheap out here in the back. Let's see if this works. Stun Executioner. Try and stun fives to keep him from taunting. No, all right. We put the plague on everybody. fives. I think the dots should kill Executioner. Let's see if we can stun Lando. There goes Executioner. And goodbye Lando. 52. Not bad. The GMY squad is the one that I'm most concerned about. We've got synergy between Yoda and Shock T. So for that one, we're going to take Wedge, On, and Chewie. I wonder if I should stun Shock T. Well, let's just stun Yoda. Almost got him down, that's what I was hoping for. See if we can stun Shock T now. Excellent. Let's get rid of Yoda. See if we can stun her again. Just stole a banner from me there. 53. I had healed back up with all of the assists from Chewy, and then she got that attack in against Wedge and stole a banner. Against the Vet Han squad, I am going to take my Sith Triumvirate. Scion is still only gear 11. My thought process here was that there wouldn't be too much damage from the other side. Maybe I'm wrong about that. 
I figured this as more of a timeout squad. So let me put the isolate on GK. Get rid of on here. Oh, nope. There we go. There has been plenty of attacking out of turn though, which I didn't realize would be the case, but that's actually worked out very well against the Treya lead. Han practically killed himself. And when the Annihilate comes up, I'll just Annihilate GK. don't think there's any way for me to recover banners here. We'll do this and see, does that... Yeah. Right, let's just do it. 51. I think I'm going to try my Imperials here, Imperial Troopers. This may not work at all. Get this on Dark Trooper. I know I should kill Captain Han first because he can raise uh, Rolo from the dead. We can resurrect her. But I'm trying to get that first kill to drive turn meter. Oh boy. I'm down to just one stack, I think. If this one gives me another stack, it does. One more. There we go. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to clean up Anakin. Because I don't think Dark Trooper is going to do this on his own. That's okay. We'll go Gian Oceans. Heal up. We're gonna take him out pretty quickly, I think. Uh, let's see if we can heal a little bit more by drawing this out a little bit. Nope. 32. Other than SLKR, the scariest squad, I think, is the EP squad. I'm going to take General Skywalker with fives. Rex. Fives and Echo. How about fives and Ahsoka? We'll do this. See, I should have taken Rex to get the speed advantage. That was a bit foolish. Goodbye, Ahsoka. I should have checked speeds. I didn't check speeds. right back down again. Take 
Goodbye, Malik. Goodbye, Revan. Goodbye, EP. 46. So that certainly could have been cleaner. But that's okay. Against this Vader squad, I'm going to take my Jedi Revan. Got a little Revan versus Revan action here. I'm going to go ahead and go right after Vader. Goodbye, Vader. Now, Revan has guard on him, which means I should go after Chewie. I'm going to have to proc Savior on Revan at some point, so he, he basically gets two lives. Okay, that should be easier now with Chewie gone. Call Revan to assist. Fifty-two. He was not in the leader slot, so he didn't get Savior. He only gets Savior on himself if he's in the leader slot, and I forgot that. Okay, this C-3PO CLS Kylo, I'm actually fortunate that CLS is not the leader here. We're going to go JTR. I'm going to try and stun Kylo. Wave CLS. See if we can take down CLS quickly. Well, let's try and stun Kylo again. Wave CLS again. Try and stun Kylo again. by CLS. Put the wave there on Kylo so you can get another stun. Damage immunity on him now. Wave him again. Stun him again? No. Keep the damage immunity on him. There we go. 54. Alright, so we're going to leave it there. 2200. I'm not going to be able to defeat that SLKR. I doubt Mr. Yum will attack, but you never know. We'll check back tomorrow and see. He may try and clear a few squads. So as predicted, Mr. Yum did not attack. So I got the win, 2200 to 1184. I would like to thank you all for watching. I know that these auto sets are not the most fun to watch. I really do appreciate you staying to the end, and I will see you in the next round.